What's up everyone, I'm Poker Trainer Nick, and in this video we are going to be playing some Pokemon Snap on the Nintendo Switch. So this game right here, today is the release date, so this is April 30th, 2021. The intention was that I was going to play it live on YouTube, but apparently I need to give 24 hour notice on YouTube for my first ever live stream, which I didn't do. Um, so next time I'll probably play it live, uh, but in the meantime, I just got to do a recorded version. I'm probably going to publish this, I don't know, a day after uh, the game had released. But this is my first time playing Pokemon Snap on the Nintendo Switch. It's, it just came out. The last time I played Pokemon Snap was on the Nintendo 64. So that was like 20 years ago. Uh, I'm assuming that a lot has changed since then. Uh, Pokemon Snap was a great game. I'm glad that they redid it. And I have no doubt that it is going to be super fun. So we're going to see how far we get. I know that Maria and Erica are kind of jealous that I'm playing it without them. Um, but they're going to play it with us next time for sure. So let me go ahead and switch over to my Nintendo Switch. Um, so this is, uh, of course, Pokemon Snap. Um, and before I proceed through the menus and set it up, I want to say, uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and drop me a comment because I want to engage with you in the chat. Uh, so let's go ahead and select uh, through the menu. So we're going to choose English. I'm using a pro controller for this. I'm hoping that that's uh, sufficient. I mean, maybe it plays better with the Joy-Cons. I don't know yet. I haven't gotten that far. Um, so we're going to say English for the speaking language. Uh, I'm just going to use the default character. Let's see what we got. I'm just going to call myself uh, Enra Boy. So that's uh, my first. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and see if I can do Poke Trainer Nick. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide um, the video of myself real quick. Um, so let's go ahead and, and see what we got. So I'm going to say, we're going to see if it allows me to do that many characters. Let's see here. Ah. All right, so it didn't allow me. So I'm just going to go with my default, which is N Raboy. Um, so if you're unfamiliar, my last name is Raboy. Um, so it's Nick Raboy. I'm just going to go back to the default there. Wouldn't allow me to do Poke Trainer Nick. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Bring my face back. Are you ready to start? Yes, I am. Graphics are pretty nice. supposed to be talking or it's because I'm going through uh do the menu so fast it's just giving me text instead of speech <gasps> or if it's just sound effects but like they're doing partial sentences when they talk all right it's still pretty cool it reminds me of Zelda where it just makes sound effects or link All right. 
Nice camera. Yep. What do you think? <laughs> Professor. Anyway. The unfortunate side of things is I am uh, a few generations of Pokemon off, so I say this in my other videos as well. Um, after like the first three generations of Pokemon, I kind of took a big uh, hiatus on the Pokemon games and lost track of everything up until Sword and Shield. <laughs> there are so many Pokemon in Sword and Shield that I uh, still don't know all of them. Um, so <laughs> I feel like I'd embarrass myself. I, I don't think that's a Butterfree. It could be though. A Vivillian. Alright. Or yeah. Never heard of that one. Try getting a shot of that Pokemon. You can press the A button to take a photo. Alright. Got it. I think. Yes! It's going! Now why don't you try moving the camera to line up your See that circle in the center of your viewfinder? That's called the point. If you use the left stick to move the pointer around, the camera will move to follow. Give it a try. You can point the camera up and down and even spin all the way around left or right. You can use motion controls to aim your camera too. I'm moving my controller around. I don't think there's motion controls in the pro controller. Try getting a shot of that peak. First, move the There might be. Did you see that? Whatever that shape is around is the subject of your photo. Remember that. It'll be important when the professor's about. Try snapping a photo. That's it. Great job. Perfect. But since Pikachu's a little far away, it looks. Times like this call for zooming. To zoom in, just hold the ZL button. Try snapping a photo of Pikachu. That's so much bigger. Look that time. You want your subject's whole body smack dab in the middle of the frame. Looking big. Looks like you've already gotten the hang of using your camera. Oh, right. You can adjust your camera and motion controls from the settings menu. You can also I need to crank up the, the sensitivity. I'm not sure yet. Horror mode's throwing me off. Hey, Professor. Hello. Anyway, first of all, in case anyone's curious, I'm actually wearing a Charizard shirt. I got it from Pokemon Center. Really cool. At least I think it's pretty cool. The Dynamax Charizard. The medium, in case anyone's curious. <laughs> Trying to show me something, dude. Yeah. All right, not bad. All right, so let's uh, let's keep playing. Let's see if we got a real match now. But so there's gonna be some more uh, Pokemon camera shenanigans. That's a good score, but I'll take it. I'm sure, I'll do better along the way. I remember Pokemon Snap for Nintendo 64. There were some hard moments, like capturing the Scyther that comes out of the tall grass. Getting a good shot of him was was rough.
Now then. <laughs> this pod reminds me of, uh, I don't know necessarily the the Jeeps from Jurassic Park, but more of the orbs from the from the later Jurassic World movies. I don't know why. I always remember the N64 game kind of reminded me of Jurassic Park driving around looking at all the specimens, Pokemon and Here's stuff. <laughs> And I wanted to reiterate that I, I had meant to play this live, but I, I just couldn't wait. I, I needed to jump into it, so hopefully tomorrow YouTube approves me and I can start doing this live. Enjoy your first photo expedition! Alright. I don't know if this is a multiplayer game. One player. Alright, let's do it. The entrance to Florida Nature Park. The Neo One will automatically follow a set route. You can just focus on looking around and taking photos. How can any of them staring at me though? If I can change the sensitivity. Camera speed's at three. Uh I'm gonna boost them both up to five and see what we got. How do I firm here? A little bit better. Oh, missed him. But I feel like I want it to be more sensitive. Try a seven? Be too much. Ah, no, that's good. What were those wingles? Already got the Badoof. What do we got in here? Alright. Not bad. Is that a magic harp? Nice magic harp. Cool. Oh, I already missed like the super rare one. Probably shot past me when I wasn't looking. <laughs>
one of these Pokemon somewhere is going to do something amazing. Oh, that's a good one. That symbol marks the spot where you'll teleport back to camp. Basically, it's the end of the course. When you get back, I'll take a look at the photo. Sweet. Not bad. I think there were like three that I didn't get pictures of that I actually saw. And there's probably a bunch that I didn't see too. Welcome back. Anyway. Alright, let's see what we got. Go Drio. None of them are particularly great. the best photo right there. More folders? Job on placement. Let's go with the new one, it's got more points. A new discovery. Nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. Pretty mellow game. A new discovery. Nice work. A new discovery. Perfect timing. Oh, that's considered a pose. All right, perfect. Figured I just got a bad shot of that one. the best one right there. Let's see what we get. A new discovery. Nice work. What? Come on, that was a that was a decent pose. And I got ripped off on that one. How was it? All right, let's see what else we got. Anyway. So do we do the same one again or do we get a different level?
save in my album. Collect all of them. Uh, I, just, I don't know if I can select all of them. You know what? I won't save any. I know that I'm going to get better ones at some point in time. Return to camp. See what we got. So while this is loading and we're just hanging out here um, in a recorded video, uh, make sure, like I said, subscribe to my channel. Take a look at my other videos. I try to do a little mixture of everything. Do Pokemon card stuff. I do merch. I do uh, comic books. I've done some comic book greetings uh, with CGC on the on the channel um, that are coming back. I got some cards coming back from from grading soon. Um, I've actually started playing the Pokemon trading card game online. Um, so I've been I've been getting rid of the the code cards uh, up until now. But you know what? That game is actually pretty fun. I can play it on my on my iPad. Um, so if you want to learn how to play that game, check out some of the videos that I did. Anyway. All, all kinds of Pokemon shenanigans here. And then I'm going to be looking forward to the ones that are coming out in the fall. As well as Arceus. I think that's how you say it. Arceus or Arceus. Um, in uh, like early 2022. That's going to be great. Alright, so he said he wanted me to go to the lab, I think. Playing a little level. All right. Research. Huh. Now. Hey, so. So. Yeah. Yep. just told me that I can scan. What was the button here? I don't think it told me. Running a scan is easy. Oh, All you gotta X. do is press right. the X. Try it out. You saw that Pokemon's name pop up, right? And did you also notice that question? That tells you there's something you can take a close look. First, move the pointer over. Did you see the pointer change shape? That's your cue to press and hold the X button to analyze whatever's there. Give it a try! There! Now you should see the results. Come to think of it, I heard that a... Well, pretty eat when this icon... When you see that, try running a scan and... Oh, right! I almost... There's one more cool thing you should... Some Pokemon will react to the sound and electrical signal from the skin. If it gets their attention, that's your chance to snap a photo. The professor calls it an accidental... Anyway, that ought to cover everything. New exciting dynamic. Professor. Thank you. First of all. Would it change between day and night? I don't think so. All right. All right again. Now that we got skiing in, in a higher level. Pretty good. Pretty good game. Let's get the intro here. Oh, we got some. What is a Taurus right there? Buffalo. Oh. 
Man, they they posed for me and I missed it. <laughs> that was shameful. Well, I got I got the Grookey. It did a nice pose for me. This one is to just to find the stuff around the around the map rather than the actual Pokemon. The ducklet. Not bad. you to lose for me. so much going on. <laughs> I thought that was a Tauros. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> Pretty good grippy picture. Pretty terrible picture. Not bad. See what those are. <laughs> now that. Mm, nice work. 
Not bad on the cookie. A new discovery. Nice work. Great timing. Yeah, I'll beat my score. Perfect. A new discovery. Perfect timing. A new discovery. Nice work. Mm. Nice work. Got a nice Dodrio there. Not bad, not bad. Nice work. What about my Wormful though? Nah, didn't, didn't make the cut. Keeping the better one. Keep the more vibrant looking one. Mm, nice work. Bad. We. Camp here. Let's actually figure out a save. I don't know if it's auto saving. I want to say that it is. Most games do that nowadays. And there was a game I played recently that didn't auto save, and I was pretty disappointed when I tried to play it again. I don't remember which one it was though. Hello. Anyway, here's the thing. Speaking of. Mm-hmm. Settings. We lower the background music just just a bit. All right, uh, I don't see an option to save, so it must do it automatically. So I'm gonna take it as uh, automatic. Um, so let's uh, go back to my home screen. So I played a few few rounds of Pokemon Snap. Uh, so this uh, again, got it today, pre-ordered it, came from Amazon, came towards the end of the day, uh, but. My intention was to stream this live, so that way I can uh, engage with people, talk Pokemon, a uh, big hobby of mine. But I didn't realize that I had to enable it in YouTube and wait 24 hours. Uh, so uh, no live streaming today. Uh, I'm going to try to do it uh, maybe this weekend sometime. I'll get this video up right away. Uh, last time I played Pokemon Snap before this was N64, and that was like 20 years ago. Yeah, I'm old, um, but it's still fun. This, they, they captured it right on. They, they captured all of the magic that was in the original. I'm going to be playing a lot of this game. I'm sure Maria and Erica will like to play it as well. Um, go ahead and, uh, once again, like this video. Please like this video. And then subscribe to the channel. I want to engage with you, so use the, use the comments. If you, if you leave me a comment, I will, I will respond, so don't, don't worry. I would love to make this kind of an interactive YouTube channel. Um, I'm, I'm on Instagram as well, so if you're on Instagram, go ahead and, and hit me up on Pokatrainer Nick on Instagram as well. Um, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, uh, and if you've got Pokemon Snap, enjoy the game as well.